So August 2017, number 33. You're asking how much should we write in? You don't need to write it in the diagram below circle O, but you know, write in tangent EC is drawn to diameter AC, chord BC parallel, all that rest of it. <laughs> oh, hi, Cella. How are you? I didn't know you were creeping in my space here. Usually that's Colin's job. <laughs> All right, what's up, Colin? <laughs> Ella, you were in the zone, huh? Doo, 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 doo. The hand, like the hand one, like the actual legit, not like an online, like, no, the like the circular. Yeah. yeah, that's old school. That's old. Okay, e, stop showing off here. Anybody just, see? all right, we know you won. We know you won. Stop it. That's the one where you had to press it, turn it, pull it. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, here we go. First thing, I look at the proof statement. Do I know what type of proof this is going to be? This will be not that far, not that far. This will be proving triangles similar first. And then we'll talk about the reason why the ratios are equal. All right, main reason to prove triangles similar. That's the first question here. How's the luck today? Nope, not going to happen. Main way to prove triangles similar. Here we go, 14. Angle, angle. While we're here, I know we're not going to use the other two, but let's review the other two. Could be angle, angle, could be side, 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 where all three sides are in the same ratio, or it could be side, angle, side, where the angle is congruent, but the sides around them are in the same ratio. But we're doing a proof, so we're going to prove the two triangles here in this diagram by angle, angle. So I need two pairs of angles. The really the only given we can mark on the diagram, BC parallel to AD. It's really the only... Uh, given I can mark. All right, so I'm gonna open it up to you guys, whether it be a circle fact or maybe not a circle fact, any geometry fact in general that gets me two congruent angles in those triangles. Do you see any here? All right, let's hear it. One. Name the angles first that you're gonna tell me are congruent. Okay, good. I don't wanna know why, I'm gonna ask one of your classmates why. So I got angle BCA congruent to angle CAD, CAE, same angle. Why are those congruent right now? How do we know that? 12, how do we know those angles were congruent? It's like we never left. Parallel lines imply those are alternate interior angles congruent. And again, going back, any shorthand we use is fair game. You make up your own, you're risking. All right, that's a risk. All right, I got a pair, I need another pair. There's gotta be another pair of angles in there that are congruent. All right, Orion. Stop, oh. go ahead, go ahead, let me, I should've let you finish. It's just force of habit, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Okay, they are congruent, but they're congruent because they're, okay. So let's first start with angle B being a right, because those two angles are right angles for different reasons. All right, so I'm gonna, those are gonna need two separate steps. So angle, I'm gonna first start with angle B as a right angle. So what is the correct wording here? Why angle B is a right angle? Because this is a circle theorem. Go ahead, Jasmine, what do you got? Okay, guaranteed, gotta have inscribed angle in there, good. Inscribed angle drawn 
You said semicircle. We could also have diameter in there. Inscribed angle drawn to a semicircle is a right angle. Don't give me this business with cords drawn to a diameter. It's an angle you're showing me. So say something about the angle, not the cords. Inscribed angle drawn to a semicircle is a right angle. Perfect. All right, and Orion, what was the other angle you told me was a right angle? Angle ACE. Now that's a totally different circle theorem than the one we just used. ACE, why is that one going to be a right angle? Because it's not inscribed. So I can't use the same reason here. Anybody remember that one? Connor, what do you got back there? Okay, diameter, radius, any of those two would work. Diameter drawn to. All right, I don't want a tangent though. Because I can't, okay, take a look, ready? Here's a diameter drawn to a tangent, but that's not a right angle. I need something more than a tangent. Roman, look at you, huh? Diameter drawn to point of tangency. 's a right angle nice job and then say what about those two right angles they are congruent and there is angle 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 B congruent to angle ACE right angles are congruent and now you can tell me the triangles are similar. Triangle ABC, similar to ECA. Does it really matter? No. How many of you put the congruent symbol down? Not me. We're done being embarrassments. Week uh, 40 of the school year here. Angle, angle. Now that the triangles are similar, now you can say the sides are in the same ratio. And then we, I didn't specifically didn't want it set at the beginning to ruin it. Do we remember, don't yell it out because I'm just going to pick a single student here. What's the reason why they're in the same ratio now? Oh boy, 22. <laughs> nope, nope. I'll get to that though in a second, but not right, not at this moment. 14. CSS. Corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. And then if it does, you know, be ready for every, anything. Be ready for anything. Let's, uh, let me say, let me change that proof statement to this now. BC times EC equals CA times AB. How do, what do I want to use now, Al? <laughs> means and extreme, product of the means equals product of the extremes, yes. Okay, be ready for anything. All good there, questions? A little circle proof for you. All right, next one, I want to go into a little midpoint distance slope on 32. This should be free points for us in an honors class. Distance, midpoint, slope should be free points for us as long as we know the formulas. So I'll give you a second. Go ahead and it's, it's probably, I know it says optional, but it's probably helpful to graph PQR. I know we haven't done it in a while, but are we planning on having the higher class average out of the two honors classes? Okay. I, I don't know. How, how do we want to find out? All in email? Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> me revealing the class averages. Shouldn't even be B. It should just be destroy them. Destroy. All right, let's roll. Uh, before we get into anything, we're told that A and B are the midpoints of PQ and QR, so we need to get our midpoint formula out. Let's review midpoint formula, not on the reference sheet, something we're responsible for. Add your X's. So first thing we'll do is take points P and Q, everyone. Take points P and Q. We'll add our X's, divide by 2, and we'll add our Y's and divide by 2. So point A will be negative 2, comma, oh boy, 3. All right, let's graph that real quick, negative 2, 3. There's point A, should land on your triangle, hopefully. And then let's find point B, which is the midpoint of R and Q now. Okay, so everyone take R and Q, add your X's, negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2, and add your Y's, 7 plus 3 divided by 2. And we end up with here... One comma five. Let's graph that. We have point B. All right, now we got to do a couple things. First thing, prove AB is parallel to PR. What formula is going to show those two lines are parallel? Slope formula, yep. So step one. Step one. The slope, what do you want to find the slope of first, AB or PR? AB. Now, is it required that you show me the slope formula here? No, you graphed it. I would probably promote doing rise over run here instead of doing change in Y over change in X. Just count up and over. So we're looking at up two over three, so two thirds. And then let's do it for PR. Up and over how many for PR? One, two, three, four over six, which reduces down to two over three. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Step two, what did we just learn? AB parallel to PR. Always have to give me a because. Slopes are equal. Slopes are the same, however you want to word it. All right, there's part one of this uh, question. Part two now, prove that AB is half the length of PR. Finally, yeah, we're going to do distance. This is why I picked it. You got all three formulas in one here. So let's continue this now. We remember the distance formula. You don't have to write it out. I'm just going to write it out to help you out. X2, what's inside the parentheses? Addition, subtraction. Minus x2 minus x1 all squared. What's between the parentheses? Plus y2 minus y1 squared. What do you want to find the distance of first? AB again? Sure, here we go. AB. Or you could do Pythag. I forgot to mention that. If you want to use Pythag instead, make a right triangle out of AB and PR. You certainly can. I'm hoping you guys get the square root of 13 underneath. Square root of 13, no? You're either squaring 2 or negative 2, and you're squaring 3 or negative 3, depending on the order you put the numbers. All right, and then let's go to PR. Square root of PR here.
in this sense. And hopefully we're getting square root of 52 for that one. I have an issue, though. 13 is not half of 52. No, that's not what is? What's your plan here to show why radical 13 is half of radical 52? There's two ways you could go about this. Two ways. Oh, Ryan, one way? Okay, we could do simplest radical form, which I would prefer an honors level class to do. Or you could go do square root of 13 in your calculator, show the decimal, do the square root of 52 in your calculator, show the decimal, and show that one half, one is one half of the other. I like Orion's way, which is show, breaking 52 down. Biggest perfect square that goes into 52 is four times, and look at that, square root of four. 2, radical 13, and then in step 4, the same step here, you can show that radical 13 is indeed equal to 1 half of 2 radical 13. Or show the decimals are 1 half of each other. However you want to show that. Write it out in words. Whatever gets the job done for you. All right, I don't want you guys getting the impression that what I put up here has to be the way. All right, specifically on these coordinate geometry ones. Not the case. We are right there. I love this problem. Distance, midpoint, and slope. All in one. Emma, yes. You do not have to show any formulas. My, here's what bare minimum I need to see. Substitution. You substituting in the numbers and the final answer. Okay. Also, I picked this step because I wanted to remind you of something. Am I allowed to correct this bad boy? No. I am not looking at it. Another teacher will. Why do I say that? Please have it organized. All right? If it looks like you did this problem with the pen in your mouth and there's work here, 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 somebody's not going to follow that. All right? I take, a, I take a, an exam and I look at this first. I'm like, oh, boy. All right? We're not going out of our way to find every little thing here. All right? Try to write neatly, too. That's why I have you guys number the steps. All right, so whoever is reading this can follow this. All right, do not think, oh, he know. I've been doing this all year. He'll know where to go. No, I'm not. I'm not going to see it. We all good there. All right, you have to stay two hours. Take your darn time and write neatly, and keep it organized. Last one, because it's going to be on there, and there's no reason why we all shouldn't get it right. Completing the darn square to get a circle equation. Darn right they are. Every exam, you've seen them. All right, here we go. Teach me. First thing. Let's hear from 10. First thing, 10, I should be doing here. Yes, I will. Yep. And while I'm at it, I'll group the X's and the Y's together. So x squared and 6 at negative 6x can go. y squared and the 8y positive when I moved it over can group together. And I'll leave that 56 hanging on the other side. And time to complete the square now. Twice. Once for the x's and once for the y's. How would you like me to complete the square for the x? What, how do you find what number I should be adding on to the x's? 20! Go right ahead. What number do you get? There it is, plus 9. Are we okay there? What are you going to do? What number are you going to add to the Ys now? Oh, 20 again, Roman.
All right, here's where I slow down because I've seen too much of this. It's whatever you add there, you add over here. Don't try to start bringing these over. Whatever you added here, you add again to the right side. Don't try to bring them over by subtracting, no go. So you get an 81 here, perfect, literally. Anybody, we're good. Sinead, you got that, you like that, I know. Okay, here we go. Everyone else like, what is he talking about? Perfect. I'm just an honors math. <laughs> All right, what's inside the parentheses here? Woo, three. Where'd you get the th three? Minus three, actually. Half my B value. All squared plus, what about with the Y's? 21. Y plus four, all squared. There's my circle equation. Now answer the question, what is the center and the length of the radius? Center, 20, wow, 27, here's that crew. Just change the signs, oh boy. Radius length, Tw whoa, 20, Roman. What is it? Nine, yes. Remember everyone, this represents R squared, not R. Okay, we good there. All right, how about a little interview now? <laughs>